What's good, man? It's the Kid K.O., man. Before we get into this, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. So about six days ago, man, 1090 Jake put out some paperwork on Boston Richie, man, that had the internet in a frenzy, man. And it's a lot of street rappers that still tapped in with Boston Richie, man. If you go to his comment section on Instagram, it's a lot of guys with blue checks that's from the streets that make music that's still supporting them. You feel me? But I say this to say about August Future in this video y'all see playing right here. It was chain and day for Boston Richie. He welcomed Boston Richie to Free Band Gang in August after they made the, did the song they did together or whatever like that. So he like basically future protege. Future got another protege as well. His name Lil Double O that he working close with. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of people still supporting Boston Richie, man, after the paperwork then dropped on him, man. And uh, I noticed something, though. Something. Boston Richie dropped a mixtape, a deluxe, to public housing part two. He dropped a deluxe, man. And... You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go on this page and see some of my people that pissed him off, but I think he pissed somebody else off, bro. I think he pissed Future off, bro, because Future ain't post that album, bro. And I be seeing Future post Lil Double O. I don't know if I missed it, if he posted on his story and I missed it, but I know he dropped that album two days ago. And when he went and when the allegations was already out, he dropped the album and I went to Future page. I didn't see Future posted in his story or nothing. Future barely posts on his regular page, on his post page. Like he barely posts there, but he always posts on the story. I did not see Future post that man album, bro. And Future, he kind of similar to Gucci man when it come to street stuff and stuff that can kind of taint his image in the public and you know what I'm saying cuz when you when your image is messed up man then your pocket's going to take a hit as well I think future going to end up bagging up off this dude man after these allegations man I don't know man I'm really feeling like future going bag cuz future is like Gucci man you get robbed or something you know Gucci dropping you ASAP you get robbed and you get beat up in public or you get treated like a goofy Gucci dropping you off the label bro and future the same way bro anything happen to you that that that's on some street shit and he ain't rocking with it and he don't agree with it he gonna cut ties with you man cuz them boys don't play about their image man they superstars and they kind of got a flawless record they kind of got flawless victory with all they little run-ins with they didn't been in, you know, situations they'd have been in. You feel me? And you don't really hear no messed up stuff about Gucci happening in the Gucci, and you don't really hear no messed up stuff happening in the future. But I say they kind of equivalent, so I wanted to compare the two to, you know what I'm saying, to get y'all to understand it a different way, man. But yeah, man, I didn't see Future post his album. I went to his went to the comment section. I don't see Future commenting on the album, supporting him at all. And he gave his man a free band chain and all that. That's his protege, bro. And I'd have seen him post double O music. Future be supporting people when they drop. He be even posting Durkio. Future post Durkio too, man. And Durkio not even free bands. He ain't got no free band chain. They got a relationship, but he not technically free band. So why wouldn't he post an artist that he's been working close with? And he's uh, gave a free band chain to. It's the allegations, I'm telling you, man. And a lot of y'all rappers, man, y'all really do be picking and choosing, bro. Like, I, I'm just saying, bro. I ain't, I ain't saying like I'm the most street, I'm the most toughest, bro. But a lot of y'all be picking and choosing, man. Oh, man, y'all be making excuse for a lot of these niggas. It's a lot of rappers that ain't coming out how they would come out for another rapper if they got caught up snitching, bro. If another rapper got caught, everybody, uh, people was coming out about Gunna a little bit, but it's, it, but it was people, it's people not rocking with him. But I see people still in full compliance with Boston Richie, bro. They still posting on his page. They still supporting his music, his album hard. I was just listening to it. I ain't going to cap. But I'm just saying as far as the principles of what y'all making, making it be like in the streets, bro. Oh, yeah, we, we anti-snitch, anti-snitch. Oh, y'all niggas still rocking with him, though. If he's if he's supposed to be told and 1090 Jake exposed the paperwork on him, you feel me? But I really think that future gonna cut ties with this man after this, bro. That's I pay attention, bro. I'm very observant. And I went to the comment section. I went to the, the likes. I even went to the likes and search future name, bro. Future ain't even put a like on this man album. But he's supposed to be free bands. He's supposed to be your protege, bro. You know what I'm saying? But when your name is tainted, bro, when it's pertaining to some street stuff and the way he's rapping and what he's supposed to be, the image that he puts off to the public, it, it doesn't, that does, that's not a good look, man. You know what I'm saying? 
And I see a lot of people mad at 1090 Jake for exposing the paperwork, man. Like, I, I mean, you can't get mad at him, bro. He's just doing his job. That's what his page is known for. He, his page is known for putting out people paperwork and just setting the record straight. And I feel like 1090 Jake is unbiased in certain shit. Like, a lot of a lot of all his videos he does, I feel like he is unbiased, bro. I don't feel like he's taking nobody's side. I don't feel like he's trying to make somebody look good or whatever like that. But, yeah, man. I want y'all to leave comments in the comment section and y'all let me know, am I tripping or did I miss something, man? Is Future cutting ties with Boston Richie after him being labeled and, and put his paperwork put out there as a snitch? You know what I'm saying? Is Future cutting ties with Boston Richie, man? You know what I'm saying? Over a past situation that happened when he was like 16. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Y'all know, I'm telling y'all, Future is equivalent to Gucci Man when it comes to a rapper image in the public, bro. They do not play that shit when it comes to that snitch allegations being on your name, your chain getting took, then you getting robbed and beat up and stepped on, bro. They do not want no parts of that shit, man. I'm telling you, man. But y'all leave comments in the comment section and y'all let me know what y'all think, man. It's future cutting ties with Boston Richie. It's the kid KO. Jeez.